Hey everyone, Steven here at My Life Outdoors. So when it comes to camping, I've always kind of felt like Jim Gaffigan when he saw a big RV pulling through camp. Oh, that's what I forgot, my house. You see, I've been backpacking for a little over 15 years and I love backpacking because of how simple it is, that you can go just about anywhere and you have everything with you to stop and stay a while. But RVs and camper trailers, I've never really been interested in, mainly because of how cumbersome they feel. But a camper van? I could get on board with. Maybe I'm crazy, but a camper van feels like the go anywhere backpacking version of an RV. So when VanCraft reached out to see if I wanted to try a van out for a week, well, I had to see for myself. Is van life anything like backpacking or am I kidding myself? Well, today we're gonna find out. This is backpacking versus van life. Let's check it out. Probably the biggest difference between backpacking and van life is the cost of entry. One of the reasons why I'm a backpacker is because of how accessible it is. There aren't really any special skills, just about anyone can do it and the cost of entry is low. You can outfit yourself to go backpacking with decently good gear for well under $1,000. And you can even outfit yourself with high-end gear for around $3,000. That's everything you need and you have it forever. Pair that to the cost of a camper van where even a cheap one can cost about $60,000 and you can understand why I'm a backpacker. Packer. Now, you don't have to own a van. To rent a van from VanCraft costs about $1,200 for the week or about $200 a day, which is much more affordable and lets you try before you buy, so to speak. But that's still just one week. So if you want to do it for any more than one week, well, it can get pretty expensive. And that's just the cost of entry. Once you have the gear, backpacking is pretty much a free sport, as long as you don't get sucked into gear envy and the constant need to buy new gear. If you hike on national forest land or BLM land, permits are typically free and campsites are too. Of course, there are exceptions like national parks or popular areas that could cost anywhere from $10 to $20 a night. Now you can also find free places to park your van too. A lot of forest service offer free dispersed camping along forest service roads, and you can use apps and websites to help find these free spots. But those spots are generally harder to find and get to, and they're less plentiful than paid sites. If you don't want to boondock, expect to pay anywhere from $10 to $60 a night for a paid camping site. But backpacking is obviously not as comfortable. In a van, you have a large soft bed, air conditioning and heating, a powered refrigerator, and you can carry more and heavier things like full-size chairs, kayaks, bikes, and more. You have electricity to power all your devices, you have running water, and even luxury items like a hot shower. With backpacking, everything has to go well, in your backpack, which is naturally going to limit some things and require some specialized gear. But it doesn't mean you're going to be miserable. You can still take a seat and a nice soft bed. You're still going to be plenty warm. But if I'm being honest, even my most comfortable backpacking gear is still not as comfortable as its bulkier, heavier counterparts. This is probably most noticeable when it comes to the food. The ability to have refrigerated food opens up the possibility for just about anything you can imagine. Cold drinks, fresh meat, dairy, eggs, all of which can make for some really good meals. When I'm backpacking, I have a tendency to eat mostly freeze-dried meals because, well, they're just easier. That doesn't mean that you can't eat well when you're backpacking, it's just not as easy because you have to think in terms of what's perishable and what's not perishable, and sometimes finding good recipes that aren't perishable is difficult to do. So from a comfort standpoint, this one goes to the van. But you know what they say, location, location, location. Do people actually say that? With backpacking, you can get to places that you just can't get to otherwise. In fact, some of the most beautiful places in the world are accessible only by foot. And some of my favorite places to backpack are in wilderness areas. And in wilderness areas, motorized and even mechanical vehicles like mountain bikes are prohibited, which means there's no other way to get here than by foot. But just because you can't take a van into the wilderness doesn't mean that you can't find really beautiful places to camp and for free. This spot that we're in tonight is deep in the White River National Forest, just a couple miles from a wilderness area. It's beautiful and secluded along a dirt road, and that's one of the main things that attracts me to camper vans over RVs and trailers. Camper vans can be equipped with rugged 4x4 suspension that opens up destinations you just can't get to otherwise. But even with 4x4, there are some places you just can't drive to, which is why this one goes to backpacking. Probably one of the biggest cons to a camper van is that it's not just your camper, it's your transportation too. Once you've got camp set up, if you need to go into town to grab some more groceries, that means breaking everything down so that you can drive off with your camper. And if you're wanting to save a really good first come first serve campsite, you run the risk of losing it without your van there. 
With backpacking, if you set up camp and then you decide to go on a day hike or out exploring, you can just leave your camp set up and not have to worry about anyone taking your spot while you're gone. But one thing that is really nice about the camper van is that you can just stop anywhere on the side of the road, in a parking lot, it doesn't matter. If you want to spend the night, you have everything you need with you and I gotta admit, that's pretty nice. So the number one reason why I prefer backpacking is because backpacking is just simple. Everything is broken down to its simplest form, and you basically have everything you need with you at all times. There's no worrying about, do we have enough gas? Am I going to get the van stuck? Am I going to be able to find a level place to park it? With backpacking, all you have to worry about is what you're going to eat, where you're going to sleep, and putting one foot in front of the other. And that is pretty amazing, if you ask me. Backpacking is great, but it's not all great. Like I talk about in this video right here about how backpacking sucks. Be sure to check that out and let me know what you would prefer, backpacking or van camping. Also, did I leave something out that you think I should have included? Drop me a comment and let me know. Be sure to like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching.